Alrighty. Gonna do more of the speed run. D6. Yeah, I think for now we'll just keep running the F4 systems. The Austrian attack. It's usually pretty reliable. Consider the sharpest thing against the Pirates. D6. I'm not familiar with that. B6. Usually black goes C5. I'm going to play slower than usual. H4 is one of the options, but I'm going to go Queen E2 instead. Curious if I can play this. And just try to attack the light squares. Because something looks really... Strange. <laughs> Could be wrong though. Let's give a check. Take here. I'm expecting knight c6 for some reason. Not for some reason. <clears throat> Threatening checkmate on h7. Trying to kill the opening, to be honest. It's usually, uh, usually how I treat it. I might have had knight takes h7 there, I didn't calculate it at all, but queen h3 looks pretty strong. So knight f6, there's knight takes h7 as well. Then queen d7 could be played. I don't believe in it though, so we'll take. Queen d7, we can trade and win the exchange. If queen c8, it's a bit of a more stubborn move order. Interesting. All right, I'm just gonna move back. Say I still have the attack. If queen here, we have check, and then we bring our queen back. We're covering c2, so it's not that easy to find a move for black, because I can always windmill and meat spin my opponent in, in a lot of these situations. Yeah, queen c8, check, king here, bishop f5. All right, this is this is looks too fun. I'm gonna have to go for it. My point is queen h7, queen g8, knight h7, mate. That's what I'm trying to go for. Hopefully, my opponent lets me. Okay, knight here is forced mate. But what I'm really curious about is this forced smothered mate. Because you get points for style, right? So let's try to set up a forced smothered mate. Nice. Nice! Oh, thank you, Tim. Appreciate that. 10 subs. Baby Diddy, good luck. All right. I'm probably gonna play the Scotch, which I don't do that often. Oh, they're playing the Petrov, never mind. I was gonna play something different. Petrov, very solid. Very boring. But it's Blitz, so I'll play a little looser. It's just symmetrical, that's why it's boring. It's not like stressful. Go rookie one first. Yeah, I'll play this line. So that it's not fully symmetrical. I can take back with a pawn or the queen. I'll do the queen. 
Rook b1, tickle this. I think, yeah, I'm trying to remember now. Let's double. The point is after bishop here, I have knight here, and then if you go g6, I have queen h3. So it can get a little, a little tricky. Queen d7, I'll go bishop here. So at least the dark squares are a little weaker around the king. Do I have a move to punish that a bit more? Let's bring the queen here. Okay, I like seeing that. I have control of the, the e-file right now. Now I don't have to worry about the back rank. Give me some time. I probably am just gonna try to activate. Okay, I will take that. So I'm trying to figure out what my opponent's threatening here. I wanna go knight back, got it. All right, let's push. That looks super risky. I get my pawn on h6. And how are you gonna survive? Guess that's one way. My pawn on h6 could be a little better. Maybe Diddy plays super, uh, super loose for a Petrov player. All right, let's bring the pieces back in. I don't think I want to trade everything. I want to keep the queens on the board. trying to get in knight f1. Very tricky. Tricky guy. I'm not used to somebody trying to play an endgame like this. But it works. It works. This is a bad loss. this. I try not to lose it. I totally butchered that. Didn't lose it, but didn't deserve to win. Very bad. Very bad. I, I think I overestimated my position.
I was impressed by how my opponent understood that. Dr. Championstein, good luck. Punish the French. I like to play an AT3. Everyone's playing the solid stuff now. Where did... The men have lost their testosterone. The Rubenstein defense should not be popular. There's so many rich French openings and this isn't one of them. But it's decent. It's a decent opening. It's just boring. But I'm going to try to spice things up for you. I'm going to try to spice things up for you. Um, let's go here. Did I just hang a piece? No. I was worried for a second. That's a good move. Let's go F4. I'm sacking pawns. Opposite side castling. You know the drill. Okay, let's line him up. No way. No way. This move has to be refuted somehow. Queen takes. I just don't believe it. Eh, we'll play this first and think later. I just don't want to believe that it works. I'm here to try to punish. I'm here to try to fuck up Black's position before they get developed, that's for sure. I'm threatening queen here. I'm not threatening a take, no. Threatening queen here and then the mating net. So queen here, we got queen g3. If you take, we'll see what happens. Fuck around and find out. But uh, I respect this guy's energy a bit. So queen here, check here, there's that. Okay, okay. That's something. That's a little something. Calculating, I'll just go here. I thought this was winning. It's very sharp, very sharp. Maybe it's not. Okay, I don't have time to find the best lines. I really thought I was gonna get a mating net in, but I see that I have 49 seconds and there's a lot of stuff happening. In fact, let's get out of dodge. I think that's a smart move. And I, I gotta walk along the dark squares. Keep in mind that. Dark squares only. Yeah, get the hell out of dodge. This guy's a savage, just takes everything. Just takes everything. 
Very impressive. Like, it should backfire at some point. But he's defending like a monster. Well, that that's friendly. That's very friendly. I was really hoping I was going to get close to a mate here, but apparently the best I can get here is a draw. But he played well. Played very well. Very, very accurately. Didn't panic with the dark squares. Hello Sajid, good luck. That's uh, Bangladesh. Always remember that flag. Got a buddy from there. All right, we got the Sicilian, eh? We'll play bishop b5. Against knight c6, I like bishop b5. Against other lines, probably d4. But we're gonna take and try to say, I'm giving up the bishop pair, but I have a better pawn structure. I'm just gonna grind you down. So d3, h3. And castle. What's this? Alrighty. I'm playing the slow game here. Close positions, the knights are good. Getting rid of black star square bishop is also good. Sajid looks like he knows theory. I am a 13-year-old Bangladeshi boy. I love chess. Very wholesome profile. I think he's going to know some theory, but let me just investigate. I'm going to go bishop e3, queen d2. Try to trade off the dark square bishops. And that's all theory. It's okay for black. This line. A3, I'm going to prepare B4. I'll go Queen E3. I just want an end game. I want a slow end game. It doesn't mean a lot, objectively. This move, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of from Sajid. I'm going to take, you can say you have, you have a passed pawn, but you also have some isolated pawns. So it's going to be a little double-edged, which I don't mind. So I'm going to start by going knight c3. I'm no longer looking to trade. I'm definitely not trading here now. In this position, how about I go rook a6. A good move because I can't double up. Let me go rook back. I'm not playing this well. I like how Sajid's playing it. I was gonna say that in a perfect world, I get to double up, put pressure on the A pawn, stuff like that. But here, I don't see how that's happening. And that's concerning. I need to get rid of this knight. This is a super knight. Okay, I'm gonna go here. It's not a good move. For tactical reasons, but I'm gambling. 
I am gambling, I'm gonna admit it. I really wanna play C3. So let's go C3. This is scary. <laughs> I take. I gotta run away, which doesn't make me happy. This is a good move. He's finding all the good moves. That doesn't make me happy. back okay. I'm down on time the kids are coming for me I have two connected pass pawns I gotta cover my king up a little bit here. I wanna play c5 and swing my rook around. Shit, you saw that. That's impressive. Well done. Very well done. Oof. I got KO'd. And the worst part is here I was winning. But I panicked in time trouble. Rook A3 is the winning move. But I don't have... It's tough. It's tough. The kids are good. Okay, we need a loss to get into another gear. So, well-earned loss. I definitely played pretty sloppily in that middle game. I don't know this opening. What happens here? Jonathan. All right, Let's see what's going on. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's attack this. And now we have a real position where we have the better pawn structure. Now it's a little more evident with the double isolated C pawns. Let's grab this. Develop the bishop. What's this guy up to? Giving me the f5 square is very, very hospitable. 
very hospitable. Check. Push. Push. Check and checkmate. Good game. <laughs> oh, there we good. Australia. Hopefully a tasty sandwich. Although I don't eat any seafood. We've been playing Rick G1 against the Nidorf. I feel like trying out a move here, but I'm not sure I'm ready. I'll go here. I'm gonna push. The, yes, yes, you can take here. It's gonna get very sharp. Ticks. I like the way this guy's playing. Seems pretty, pretty decent. Let's go here. Does that move work? Holy smokes. The, uh, the Australians are attacking. <sighs> what have I done to deserve it? I lose one game and everyone gangs up on me, eh? They know I'm uh, ripe. I didn't know that uh, my position was that bad. Maybe I over uh, overestimated. I think I did. Because my position sucks here. My position sucks. Gotta give props to this guy. Alright, I'm gonna make the ugliest move in the world. Don't laugh at me, please. No, no move shaming. Please, no move shaming. Not everyone has good looking pieces. Holy smokes.
We're busted here. We're busted. Oof. This guy played very well. I was impressed. My uh, E4 got crushed. It was a good game. It's very typical to attack like this. Computer says it's good for me, but I definitely like spent way too much time in this position. Thompson, good luck. We've taken some losses in this one, so we have to improve the speed, and I won't play Rook G1 anymore. I'm shy now. We're playing the uh, I'm off. Well, this is a pretty decent line for black. But I'll use the English attack and try to, you know, throw some pawns in there. Push. Okay. Let's trade here. And then I'm going to bring my bishop and try to take away your knight. Yeah, we're going there. It's true. I'm hoping my attack lands first. Yeah. G6 has to be played. I think I'm supposed to take that. But it's scary. Okay, we'll take it. go here wish me luck don't hurt me and we'll take that let's bring the queen in we're not getting back rank mated because of this guy which is always important. In fact, I'm gonna go bishop here. I'm gonna go queen here. And you're gonna try to back rank me, but it's not gonna work. Hopefully. Let's take. B3. I'm going to let you take and open up the H file if you desire. That's entirely your choice. Okay. That works for me, Thompson. Cheers. That worked out perfectly. Per worked out perfectly. All right, we got a French defense. We got to punish this. Go oh, bishop g5. H4. It's a sacrificial line. Uh. I don't know. You tell me what the theory is, guys. I'll go queen g4 and queen g3 and just hope for the best. Okay. 
This guy's name is Tommy. And he's uh, Bosnian. Okay. The French is pretty popular in Bosnia. <laughs> Definitely knew some players from that region that preferred it. It's Queenside Castle. Go for quick development. Thought, thought this move might be playable. I wasn't sure if like you'd be worried about I don't know, knight here, for example. Is this is this move concerning? It might not be. You can maybe just castle. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if I'm vibing with that idea. Okay, I have queen here if you ever take. If that feels good. Okay, then we'll encourage it. If I was playing black, I'd play queen a5. That's a good move. No, this move is totally fine. You, you can take and you get lots of compensation. So I'm not really sure if I've done anything good here. I'm up the exchange, but I'm not happy. I'm not. Let's try to get some pieces developed. I might have to sack. I might have to bring out the sacks. Well, actually, how concerned am I? I'm gonna go king here. I'm not sure if I'm that worried about the trade. Because now my knight has an easy path. Knight f3, knight e5, we're not, our knight's happy. G4 is coming to blast open. We're gonna go here. Yeah, this can't be anything. Now we just attack. Now we just full send. Uh, what do you want to do? Here? Okay, we'll do that. G4, <coughs> excuse me, G4 is tempting. What happens if I just double? And then bring the knight in. I'm gonna take on F7. I think that's gonna be game over. Maybe not. Let's throw this move in. This vision zerg. I'm, I want to take, take, and take. I want to take everything. I want to withhold this check for the time being. Check. 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 X. And now let's walk the king in. Looks fun. Yep. 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 Oh! Hello to Tommy. GG. Alrighty, 25.58, thank you, wow, they make them different these days. I guarantee this is not a paid actor, if I paid people to lose, they would do a better job than this. But, you know, 
I appreciate the support. Check. Check. Boom. That account is April 21st, 2021. You really think I'm paying sleeper cells like from three years ago? That are paying for their membership? No. No. There's no fluffers involved. Alrighty. Good luck. The Carol can. We're going to play the advance. And we're going to try to hurt him. Just go for a quick castle. Okay, this is some theory. That's unfortunate. But we'll persevere. I know that I'm going to get castled first. And then I have to come up with something. I have to make Black's life uncomfortable before they castle. So that starts by plucking the bishop hair. Please take here. That would lead to an early loss. And that didn't quite happen. Let's go rook here. I got the bishop here. Let's go queen here, tickling everything. You go knight here, I'm gonna barge in on g7. If you take here, I'm still gonna take here. And after queenside castle, I can take. And your queen's pinned. So this is an annoying move. Let me eat that. Let me eat that. Pardon me, sir. And I think I'm full. So let's pull out. So we're two pawns to the good, as Yasser would say. Now, let's trade. Wow. That's a cute move. That's a real cute move. I'm not even going to trade on your terms. My queen is lodged in nicely on h5. It's not easy for black to attack it. Can't attack the queen there. It's hard to like get some traction going. I'll even go here. I did allow bishop takes and rook g5. I probably played the worst move in the position. But hey, that's okay. That's why we're relatable. I play the worst moves possible. I feel very safe with my king, just to clarify. My king will go to h1, and on the light squares, it's going to be beautiful. Let's prepare a minority attack. Actually, this is a majority attack. <laughs> Got three on two. I'm going to go b4. Bishop blockades. I might even put my bishop here. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to do there. So let's go. What am I missing? I don't see the threat. I said my queen is really annoying on h5. It's, it's guarding a lot. And this is a safe space. Aww. Just to piss off. I could take it. But you want to piss off your opponents. Psychologically, it's very effective. I'm not going to take it. Well, I said I wasn't going to take it. So if I take it, I won't, you know, won't be a man of my word. So I have to continue to deny Put the bishop on the best square, the sexiest square. Oof. Look at that. Queen f7 is coming. Lovely. Let's push. 
Now it's my turn. Let me eat. Cute move, cute move. Check. Mm -mm -mm. 10 seconds. Oh, buddy resigned. I wasn't sure if I should take here and go bishop e3 skewering. I wasn't sure to go here and queen a8's mate in a couple. Too many good options. Tim says bishop takes knight. Tim, that's a good line. Apps master from the Philippines. Good luck. I am not an apps master, but I will try to hurt this uh, Scandinavian. We'll go bishop c4 without playing d4. Oh, c5. I take that back. I take that back. I'm gonna go bishop d5. This is we're out of book for two guys just flailing around, but, but something feels slow about black setup. Doesn't feel right. All right, let's attack it. Let's attack it. I'm playing super aggressively, but I'd be lying if I said, you know, I've played this before. Knight d4. Okay. I guess we'll go for it. Let me take this. Try to mess up the pawns a little bit, right? Take with a bishop, we trade everything, go queen f3. I can say those pawns are a little loose. Take back with a pawn, I'll still go bishop f3. Okay, check. Queen b6, probably knight a4 here. Still gonna go knight a4. I want to go b3 and I want to play against the pawns. That's what I want to do. Okay. Let's go c4. I'm taking away b5 and d5. I'm gonna bring my rook in. And I'll play b3. I'd like to say I have a bit of a better end game here because of the pawn structure, but uh, I still have to prove it. I don't think it's that much better. It's not like I can just trade everything and say I'm winning. So just a couple points is I want black to push either of these pawns on dark squares. Those will be permanently like fixed on dark squares. My bishop will be able to put pressure. So I definitely have some goals. Let's put this bishop on e5. Knight here, I'll be able to play queen g3. Mm. That's a move I'm not too concerned about. For a few reasons. Let's go h3. I probably should have played like rook d6. This would have been a good opportunity to play like rook d6. But I still have the same pawn, pawn structure advantages here. Go queen a5, now I'm tickling your rook on d8. Knight c5 is an interesting idea next. Let's 
let's go knight c5. Now we're, we have the D file, we have pressure on the weakness. I'm probably gonna go... Go B4. I'm playing black, I'm definitely considering this move. Just at what point? Passive defense is usually pretty tough. Alright, let me just think about this for a moment. One sec. Let me go here for a moment. Okay, now I'm happy. We're up a bunch of pawns here. More pawns coming. Nice. nice. Swarm that king there. Lost tomato. Good luck. I'm going to be playing F4. Trying to kill the Pirates. Kill it. Oh boy. We got to play theory that I haven't studied in 10 years. Hopefully it hasn't changed that much. Go easy on me. Please. I had this kind of position like against a German FM, like 2014 Reykjavik. What I really want is black. Blacks generally does this. They take. That's fine. That's okay. And we play a queenless position where I can still say I have a bit of a push through these pawns. It's nothing, nothing spectacular, but it's a little something to work with. Let me go e5. How about I go knight g5? How are you going to react to that? Really? Okay. It's queenside castle. I got some space here. I definitely have some space. Let's tickle this knight. B3. Excellent. I'm going to argue that this knight is going to be bad for a while. That's going to be my, my argument. Let's double on the open file. I probably could have gone here. I'm a shit cunt by not doing that. I probably had that option. Let's attack your knight ask where it's going where are you going lost tomato uh oh that is definitely where you shouldn't be going in fact I spy something check something's wrong here Something, something doesn't feel right. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna start with this and grab the eighth. Check. I want to do something nasty, so I'm, I'm changing it up a little bit. Forgive me. One here. I want to trap this rook, so I'm going A4. Check. I don't think I executed it properly, but it's going to be forced. It's going to be checkmate. Is it not? Am I not competent enough? Oh boy. I have to go for the slow way. So this is checkmate. So it's completely winning. But I was hoping to get like something. Yeah, h3, king h4, knight here, rook here. It's winning. I'm close to mate. But I didn't see... I didn't see the knockout here even though it's winning. You've made it through another episode of my E4 speedrun. To continue watching the next one, just click on the video beside me. And all I ask is that you consider clicking that subscribe button below the video to support our future content.